Hey what's up Spawns, welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the top 10 vehicles that should return in Halo Infinite. We are going to go through all the lists of these fan favorite iconic vehicles in Halo and let me know down in the comments below if you disagree or agree with the list I have. Hope it's a good one. And if you guys are new here to the channel be sure to you know subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upload, uh, uploaded videos. It definitely helps out the channel, it helps me to keep me motivated. Uh, so yeah I'll be utterly grateful if you guys do that. So yeah, let's begin. So number 10 is the Man Oni from Halo Reach. There's nothing you could say much about this vehicle, but it's still you know, fun driving this around in Halo Reach, you know, if you're playing some games with your friends. If you're playing Speed Halo or Splatter Monkey, the van can only carry up to two players, but it will be awesome to see uh, players can actually have an entrance at the back where, you know, players can actually sit in Halo Infinite. Uh, maybe they, they could include five five uh, passengers seat at the back. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Uh, though this will not be useful for matchmaking, but definitely could work for custom games. So please see for three, you know, do make that happen. Number nine is the forklift. Obviously, the vehicle is very useless when it comes to, you know, combat, but it's very, you know, useful when it comes to making machinimas. Uh, it wasn't hit a fire, but as a prop, uh, so you couldn't drive it. Uh, so hopefully, they they add this in Hidden Infinite Forge where it's drivable. And it would be cool if the forklift uh, can actually carry objects like uh, crates and such, whatever. Uh, similar to what the Razorback has, where you can actually store things at the back. Uh, but like obviously with the forklift, you can actually store things at the front of it. Uh, you know, so like I think it can have some like that. I don't know. But people they really gotta look into this. What they can do with the forklift? I just don't want this as a prop. Number eight is a shadow vehicle from Halo 2. Now this vehicle was the only part of the campaign in the mission called Outskirts. Uh, but you couldn't really drive the shadow. Uh, I, I think there was a glitch. Uh, where you can work around it, where you could actually drive it. Uh, but what I know is that you can sit on the turret at the top, uh, but it's a very slow vehicle, but it's pretty massive, you know. So it would be cool to see something like this in Halo Infinite's multiplayer, or at least campaign where you can actually drive it, whatever, in Forge. I wanna, I wanna have it in Forge, you know, where you can actually drive it. Uh, I believe it carries vehicles as well, like the ghosts. Uh, underneath it, as you can see, you can see the ghost underneath it. Uh, the shadow, you know, carries uh, the ghost, uh, which is which is pretty cool. Number seven, the truck from Halo Reach. Now this vehicle was only used in the campaign, but thankfully 343 implemented this uh, vehicle into Forge and players can now use it in Forge. There's not much to say about this vehicle, but it's still a, a solid looking vehicle and it can only carry two players. Uh, it would be really nice if uh, players can you know, actually sit behind the vehicle like how George did in the campaign in the mission called Winter Contingency. Yeah, so it'd be really cool if you could add the second passenger, you know, at the back. So please, Team 43, you know, do make that happen. Number six is the Revenant from Halo Reach. So this vehicle is basically a mini version of the Wraith. It carries up to two players and the driver is the one who has control over the firepower and has a boost too. Uh, so this vehicle is pretty OP. Uh, hopefully we see this uh, vehicle in Halo Infinite. Uh, but it's not my favorite vehicle, I'll be honest with you guys. But I know a lot of people who absolutely love the Revenant in, uh, from Halo Reach. Uh, I just hope when they do bring back the Revenant, I just hope it doesn't replace any vehicles. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind seeing the Revenant, as long as if, if it's not you know, as a replacement, you know, whatever. Number five is the Mammoth from Halo 4. The Mammoth is basically a replacement of the Adafruit, uh, well, but it was only exclusive in the camping, unfortunately. It was in the mission called the Reclaimer. Uh, I was disappointed that you couldn't drive it or spawn it in Forge. There is potential for this vehicle. I see this vehicle could definitely work in Halo Infinite's 12v12 of a BTP 2.0, uh, especially when the player count has increased now. In the previous it, it was AV8. Uh, so it really makes sense, you know, uh, to have this vehicle in BTP 2.0. Number four is a Prowler from Halo 3. This brute vehicle carries uh, up to four players. It's not the strongest vehicle, uh, but it sure does look like a beast. Uh, we haven't seen this vehicle in other Halo games since Halo 3, uh, but there might be a high chance that we could actually see the Prowler in Halo Infinite since they brought back the, the Brute uh, Chopper from uh, Halo 3 in Halo Infinite. Uh, so hopefully if they add this too, it would make sense. I mean, since the, the Brutes are back, you know, making a, you know, making a return uh, and also the Brute Chopper, so why not the Prowler, right? Number three is the Hornet uh, from Halo 3. It's a small vehicle, uh, but it is absolutely deadly. Like this vehicle will destroy anything, uh, even the tank sometimes. So it will be nice to see this Hornet in Halo Infinite in action. Uh, and it's also useful in Halo Anniversary multiplayer. Uh, it can carry up to three players. Uh, so please see for three, do bring this air vehicle back. It's been, it's been a long time since we've seen the Hornet. Number two is the Falcon. Now this vehicle isn't really the strongest air vehicle when you're flying the Falcon BTB in Halo Reach. There's 100% chance you will die. However, a lot of players really enjoy flying the Falcon and it's awesome for making machinimas. People prefer over this, uh, uh, over the Hornet, you know, because it looks better and it could carry up to uh, six players. 
Uh, I would love to see the Hornet and the Falcon have a massive crossover in Halo Infinite. I want these uh, two, uh, these uh, both air vehicles to make a return in Halo Infinite. Uh, no offense to the Wasp, I think the Wasp looks all cool, uh, but only one person can use it. Where is the fun in that, right? Number one, the final vehicle list we have is the Spectre from Halo 2. Now think of the Spectre as a Warthog version, but it's a Covenant vehicle. It was such a huge disappointment uh, that we never got to see the Spectre after Halo 2. It played fantastic in Halo 2's campaign and the multiplayer. It was such an iconic vehicle. It carried up to four players. I had a boost which made it faster than the Warthog, while the Warthog only carried it up to three players and it was pretty slow uh, compared to the Spectre. I have no idea why Bungie never added it in in Halo 3 or Reach. Uh, I need answers, you know. No one ever had a problem with the Spectre in Halo 2 at all. People love the Spectre. It's, bas it's basically like the Warthog version. Hence why, you know, that's why I had it on, on the number one list. So please, 243, bring back the Spectre in Halo Infinite. Like, come on. I I'm really serious. But this needs to come back. It's such an iconic vehicle, you know. I, I don't know how to describe the Spectre, man. It's just, it's basically the Warthog version. Come on, bring it back. Anyways guys, that's all I have to say in today's video. If you guys agree or disagree with the top 10 list, uh, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I really hope Thief 3 does bring back all the vehicles from other Halo games into Halo Infinite. Uh, I know most of these vehicles may not appear in the campaign or matchmaking, but at least add them to Forge, right? Players can have the freedom to you know, screw around with these vehicles in Forge. Uh, so yeah, please Thief 3 do make that happen. Don't give us buts or ifs, you know, just do it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. I literally stream Halo every day on Twitch. So go ahead and drop a follow there. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.